Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Xerox Smart Star driver. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, type in the model of the printer we're going to be downloading into uh, Google or whatever browser you're using. And you're going to want to look for the, the driver page on uh, Xerox.com. You can also uh, go to Xerox.com and uh, look up the model in the search bar if that's easier for you. Um, so I got my model pulled up and I'm going to scroll down to the drivers. Um, you'll want to put in the platform of the computer you're in. In this video we're going to be installing a Smart Start driver on uh, Windows 10. So to install it you're going to hit um, the I agree to download. Make sure you're on the Xerox Smart Start driver installed. Then you're going to hit download. Once it's finished you're going to open up the uh, Smart Start download. Once it's open, you're going to hit uh, Agree, and then you should see that it will uh, pull up the printer that's on your network. It will show the name of uh, the printer you have, the IP address, and you're going to do a quick install. So now you can see the print driver is installed, so when you go to print, you should see it in the options. Now if you need to change any print defaults, what you can do is you can type in run in the Windows search and then type in control printers and we'll go into the control panel to set our print defaults like one sided, black and white, whatever you want it to be default. All you have to do is right click, hit printer properties, then you're going to need to do this in two spots. You're going to go into advanced, hit printing defaults, then when you're in printing defaults, you're going to want to change it um, to whatever you want. Most people do one-sided, um, they'll do black and white, print quality, a high resolution, and then you can also go to this little um, leaf here and turn off banner sheets. Then you just hit OK, hit OK again. Now just to make sure it's correct, you're going to want to go in there and uh, double check it. Hit preferences. And it looks all correct. So, just to reiterate, you're going to want to do it under Advanced, Print Defaults, and check under Preferences. Um, as long as those two are correct, your uh, print defaults uh, should be set. If you're having any problems with the print driver, I would recommend uninstalling it and trying a different type. What you'll want to do is once you get to this screen on reinstalling it, you'll want to hit Advanced Install. Now the default driver that um, is installed is a PostScript or PS driver. I recommend trying the PCL6 and uh, see if your issue goes away. The rest of the steps to install are the same. You just hit install and uh, it would download it onto your computer.